Hey guys, Marilyn Wildlife here, and I'm here to do a video on why you should get a pet Pac-Man frog and why they make great pets for beginners. Okay, first off is their housing. They require minimal care as their care is super easy and really, really cost effective as almost anybody can afford it. This whole setup you see is around 60 bucks. You got your terrarium, which is about $14, hides, heating, rheostat, and of course, the animal. Now, I she is a female. I think she's around three months old. She's a baby albino Pac-Man frog. She is really, really cute. She likes feeding on these worms that we just pick up. They're pretty good for feeding babies because they won't jump everywhere. They're really easy to digest and they're soft. So, we don't dust them with this stuff. You dust any other food but worms with that because that can pretty much cause a chemical reaction and kill your animal if you dust them with the worm. And uh, we sometimes feed her this Pac-Man frog food. It's kind of messy. I know I need to clean that up. But yeah. Then for the heating, we just have a air heater or an under tank heater. We do not have it under the tank. It is just a heat pad set on medium. And it's around 90 degrees on there. So we also have some frog moss and that's just really gonna it's gonna hold humidity like a beast so you're not gonna really worry about spraying stuff too much maybe if you over sprayed it this stuff is gonna moisturize it and it's gonna absorb it and it's gonna get a decent 90 percent humidity in there so that's really good and healthy for your frog and uh the hide spot is just a haba hut you do not need a haba hut you could use many other hides on the market but stay away from heated rock hides okay those will burn your frog and those will burn pretty much any other reptile that you house inside of them they do not like that so <laughs> just don't use that for the subrate substrate we have eco earth and water bowl it's not full but it's just a repti rock water bowl combo thing okay. yeah you're probably asking why do these things make such good pets and the answer is they are really easy to take care of. I would say that they're easier to take care of than a bearded dragon and a leopard gecko combined. This whole thing you see here combined with the frog was only around 110 bucks. So anything that's that cheap, you know, it's a must get. And they're really good beginner animals. You, Their care is obviously minimal. They're not very picky eaters as they will eat almost anything in front of them. And they are really beautiful. Right now, Chug is just sitting sitting like a villain and uh and drawing her heat on her hot side and they won't move around that much so if they usually tend to be in one one spot for a couple days they might come out of it every other now and then but that's kind of rare and they also just make a really easy exotic pet for a child the child can easily take care of one of these like me but obviously i have some experience and they are super easy to take care for Mind, though, that they need to be wet, so you need to spray down their tank every, you know, two times a day with just a snow, normal spray bottle that I don't have with me, so I can't show you it, but you just spray them down every once in a while. It keeps them all nice and happy and wet. So, there you have it. My video of every reason why I think Pac-Man frogs make really good exotic beginner pets. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, favorite, and most importantly, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.